to be here today. We are going to do one of the exercises on a program called Growing Leaders. What do you think I mean when I say Growing Leaders? Who knows? That is correct. To all of you that are young and you're going to grow up one day to be great leaders. How many leaders do I have in this classroom already? How many leaders do I have in this classroom? Come on, don't be shy. Okay, for those of who are not leaders, let me see who is not a leader. <laughs> who is not a leader? Let me see. <laughs> All right, can you get up and tell me why you are not a leader? You don't know why? Okay, by the time I'm done with you, you are going to be a leader too, okay? I'm going to introduce myself. My name is Sally, and I'm going to tell you what every letter of my name stands for, which is going to tell you a little bit, a bit about me. So the S in my name stands for that I have a sweet tooth. I like everything sweet. A is I'm athletic. L is I'm loyal. L is I'm loving. And Y, I'm youthful. I want all of you to write down your name and tell me something about you. Anything. Your favorite pet, your favorite food, your favorite color. I get to tell me something about you that corresponds with your name. Wow. Okay? Three. Two. Naughty. Nice. One and a half. One and a quarter. One. Pencils is that? Pencils down. Come on, pencils down. Look at me. Okay, who's going to volunteer and tell me their name and what their letters stand for? Whoever volunteers gets 10 points for their team in a game. This! This! I got this. Okay, my name is Luke. I didn't even choose you. All right, you. What is a prejudice or a stereotype? Do you know what a prejudice is? That's correct. It's a preconceived notion that might not be true. What are the different kinds of prejudices that we have? Name some, for example. Like, when I was younger, I'll tell you, I was really tall with glasses and everybody thought I was kind of nerdy. That was not true. So, what kind of prejudice do you think of? What are other kinds of prejudice people have? What is like the most known type of prejudice? That there's a monster in your closet? <laughs> okay, well, that's not true. But that's not what I meant. Okay. All right, what? Folklore. to some extent. All right, let's talk about different kinds of prejudice. People can be prejudiced when they think, for example, girls can't do certain things boys can do. And us girls know we can do it better, right? That's a type of prejudice. A type of prejudice would be being judged because of the color of your skin, right? That's a prejudice, right? Another prejudice could be that someone has a prejudice against you because of religion, right? So, I need each one of you now, on your paper, to pick geography. You're going to pick a country and tell me what kind of prejudice they might, you think they might have in that country. So, for example, India, you might think maybe religion, religious prejudice. China, maybe you can think the way people look. So, tell me, pick a country and tell me what kind of prejudice do you think those people experience. Quickly. I'm going to start a countdown again. One, pencil down. Just in time. Who's going to go first? Me. You. 
Now I want you all to do a pie chart with all of your bad qualities for me. Walk every person up into their own pie chart. It's getting personal now. Because it's when you fail 
and you get up and you continue on, that's what makes you a great leader. Okay? Thank you, all of you, very much. It was a pleasure.